Hello, this is Willie Rowe, Hall of Famer, 2012 from the New Orleans Saints, 1993 first round draft pick, welcoming Peyton into the new draft pick of 2021 into the Saints family. The New Orleans Saints select Peyton Turner, defensive end, Houston. How you doing, Peyton? I'm good. I'm good. Just excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for you, man. I've I've been reading a little bit up on your history and everything and, and saw your journey. Um, going into the draft, you know, because I, I went through that process and I saw how your, your career went. Uh, what were you feeling? Were you feeling like you were going to be a first rounder going into the season? Were, you, were they saying you were a second rounder? What were the scout reports saying? Yeah, I knew I was in that range from 20 to 40. Uh, I wasn't sure um, who liked me the most in that range. So. Uh, once, once you know, once number twenty came up, I think it was the Giants. Uh, you know, I was because I talked to them a pretty good amount too. So, uh, just across across the board, you know, I knew I would be somewhere in that range from twenty to forty. Was really hoping I'd, I'd get up there in that first round and uh, get a good team at the end of the uh, draft at that first round. And I did. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm with the Saints, so it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, going back to your college days, what, how did you choose Houston? I really saw myself staying in Texas for college uh, at, this, at the next level, and then I ended up choosing football over basketball. Just, um, I think I felt like I was projected just to be like a better football player than basketball to me. Uh, I loved both of them, so it wasn't really which one did I like more. So, um, not a bad problem to have to be able to choose the, between two sports you love to play at the next level. So, pretty blessed in that situation. But yeah, ended up going to Houston. Uh, they stayed true to me, uh, offered me. Um, and then they just, you know, I felt like they were loyal through me the whole time. So I was really blessed to end up in the situation I was in. You're coming in with, with, with some, we talked about with Cam Jordan and some other veterans on the defensive line. They stepped up and they got some good studs up there in the interior. They drafted real high. So you can learn from those guys and watch them play. And, uh, you know, my main thing is just watching you, you learn, learn the system and uh, make sure you get in there and get off to a good start, you know, because, uh, it's exciting times. You, you know, you're not a collegiate athlete anymore. Now you get paid to do play play a kid's game and do the things you love to do. Yeah, no doubt. It's definitely a dream come true. And uh, like you said, I get to play the game I love. So uh, I'm excited to get started. And go, like you said, there's Cam Jordan there. There's a lot of good good players around me, good coaches around me. So great organization. So I'm just really ready to go and uh, get started in the NOLA. Now, what? Now, which side were you play predominantly? Were you were you lined up over the over the left tackle, or you lined up at the other defensive end, the right or left? I played bandit uh, in our defense, so I played to the field. I was like our field end, uh, field like outside back, more defensive end than anything. So I was more to the. I played to the field, so wherever the field strength was, like uh, wherever more field, more grass was, that was the side I played on. Oh, so you rotated? Yeah, so I played all over, so and played, then on top both. of that. Yeah, I played both. So then on top of that, I also went down like uh, third down, third down pass rush stuff. Uh, if, we, if we had enough guys, if we had a guy that we wanted to get out on the field, you know, I'd go down to sub rush on the uh, interior. Any other ideas or questions you got you want to ask me, you know? Yeah, so what's, so what, and I know, I know they updated a few things over there in New Orleans. So what was it like when you were there though? Like, well, how was the facilities and everything? <laughs> well, I got there in the <laughs> early 90s, so. At the, oh yeah! At the time I at the time I got there, they were breaking up the Dome Patrol. So it was Ricky Jack. The little history. It was Ricky Jackson, Sam Mills, Von Johnson, and Pat Swilling. So they traded Pat Swilling and moved up to get me. They got me with the eighth pick, and then they drive Irv Smith with the twentieth pick. His son plays in the, for Minnesota now, Irv Smith Jr. Yeah. So I played with his dad. But uh, back then, uh, our facilities were kind of. Uh, a trailer or, or a car in it, in it, but inside by a power plant, and it ended up burning yeah. down, and they ended up building a new facility in '96 while I was playing there. So, and, it, it, and we had the Superdome, but we 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 didn't have the best facilities, but we went out there and played hard back then. Yeah, no doubt. And then what, the other thing would be like, so who's like the biggest, or, or the I guess not the biggest, but the um, I guess like the most decorated player that you played against. Most decorated player I played against my rookie year. I was there before I moved to left talk. I was there right. I played Reggie White. Oh the, man, the, the man, <laughs> the minister, the minister yeah. of defense. And I guess the, the last question I would have is like, is like, where do I need to go eat when I get there? 
What can I get some good crawfish too? It's an underrated place in Metairie. Try Don Seafood. They got good Don crawfish. Seafood. They got the, the they got the j- jacked up oysters. Don Seafood. Everybody, Drago's. You got Drago's. My oh, wife. They got oh. a big day place right across the, the street from uh, Don Seafood in Metairie. It's underrated. All right, say less. I'll be there then. And I will tell you, man, when you get to New Orleans, man, uh, you know, you just just be yourself. Go out there and be humble and work hard. People, the fans, football is, you know, they got the Pelicans now, but it's, it's a football city. It's a football state. So, you know, you go out there, the fans are going to love you. You're going to see people and people are going to know who you are. And, and I mean, it's a great place to play football. It's a great place to be, especially young. You know, you got the Jazz Fest, Mardi Gras. You know, events, you got the Essence Festival, so it's a lot of good food. So, you know, I don't know how your diet is, but, you know, I don't know if you want to gain weight, but make sure you don't eat too much of that, that gumbo and that food down there, man. It's good. Yeah, they got those good beignets and those good, uh, that good crawfish. I just had some crawfish, matter of fact, can't wait to go over to the boot and try it, though. So, uh, yeah, but like you said, football, hey, no doubt, just like Texas, man, just like Texas. So, I'm excited to get, get going. It's exciting times, man. You know, like I said, get in the camp and uh, keep that same attitude, man. And uh, get out there, and get, get out to, get out to, uh, my, get out to my boy Teron Armstead a little bit in practice. Oh yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got some good foods over there, man. So I'm excited to get oh, there. Oh yeah, you got, you got, Ram, you got, Ram, you gonna go, you got two of the best. You're gonna go against Teron and and Ryan Ramchak. You got two, you got two real athletic tackles that you're gonna practice against. Right. You know, so that. That that'll be you know the competition level will be a step up you know because you know you in, when you play against great guys but when you get to the NFL you're gonna play against some real athletic guys yeah. real athletic big guys that can really move. Well, I'm excited to be better then. Thanks man, nice talking to you and uh, good luck this year. I'll be watching.